Right now, the lineup, traffic trouble. Construction crews are out on several major highways in our area. We'll show you where one of the biggest trouble spots will be. You've got a little extra horsepower for you today. <laughs> We're going to tell you about the equine escapee that caused problems for Pennsylvania State Police early this morning. It's a good one, equine escapee. Yeah. And the bats are cracking again for the fills. Spring training underway, of course. The expectations for the season are higher than ever. Those stories and more on today's edition of The Lineup. It is Tuesday, February 20th, 2024. The Lineup is brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Hey, everyone. I'm NBC 10's Keith Jones. And I'm Erin Coleman. Let's get you up to speed with what you need to know today, starting with road projects mm -hmm. from Pennsylvania to Delaware. Yeah, you're bound to see road crews and construction signs on several major roads leading to a traffic nightmare. Part of it, that I-95 cap project in Old City. That's where we find NBC 10's Matt DeLucia. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of orange cones and signs as a result of the construction projects happening on roads throughout our area. One of them right here along I-95. So this is Market Street and that on ramp to 95 southbound that is closed uh, into close to mid-March. So what is going on here? Yes, we have several projects going on throughout uh, much of the Delaware Valley at the same time. And I-95 has the giant cat project here going on. And keep in mind that this upcoming weekend, 95 South is going to be entirely closed at the Vine Street Expressway. So if you have to make your way around this area, you'll see a lot of detour signs to help you navigate around these closures. But construction aside, some drivers say they would prefer to see work being done to fix all of the potholes. I don't know what type of material they're using, but I've seen plenty of potholes be full and just a couple months later, the hole is there again. So hopefully whatever they're doing to repair it, it's long lasting. Yeah, and on that note, PennDOT says crews will be repairing potholes starting this week. They're going to be in areas around Chester, Delaware, Montgomery, and Bucks counties. Definitely want to download the free NBC10 app to keep you updated on all of the road construction projects happening throughout our region. In Old City, I'm at Delusia, NBC10 News. Speaking of traffic trouble, police concerned uh, cornered a horse in Port Richmond after it Spent the early morning hours running free on I-95. Video shows you the horse tied to a fence on Bath Street before it got loaded onto a trailer. Fletcher Street Urban Riding Club worked with police to help get this horse to safe, to safe place. Police haven't said where the horse got loose from. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, the church known for being the birthplace of an entire denomination is at the center of an investigation. Someone threw rocks at Philadelphia's historic Mother Bethel AME Church, shattering parts of the glass. The pastor sent a message to church members saying the rocks hit the lower windows of the church happened between Sunday morning service and Monday morning. Mother Bethel has been vandalized several times since its founding in the late 1700s. But the pastor says in this case, the vandal probably doesn't even realize what they've done. It appeared to be the work of just one person who literally was just out doing something. He probably did not even realize uh, what Mother Bethel is, what it means to so many people. But um, yeah, you, your, your mind immediately goes to the worst case scenario. And I think we can all uh, breathe a sigh of relief knowing that that's probably not the case here. Police say other buildings in the area were also vandalized around the same time. But those stained glass windows mm. are pricey. Yeah, from the late 19th century, reportedly. Yes, so it's going to be uh, quite the cost to, to Ugh, replace that and so repair. Unfortunate. The Phillies have one full team practice under their belt for this year's spring training. They hope third time's a charm, right? This year, the last two years, this team has come an arm's length away from the World Series or winning it. Players say that they're on the same page with the winning mentality. That includes the newest Philly, Whit Merrifield. He says he turned down being a starting second baseman to come here and uh, come off the bench. At this point, I've been a three-time All-Star. I've led the league in hits a couple of times. I've led the league in solo bases. I've led the league in all these different things that I feel like I've proven that I'm here and I can play. Um, I was an All-Star last year. I've done that. I want to win now. You have everybody coming back from the last two runs, and um, everybody knows what it takes to get there, and um, just got to finish the job this time. There you go. He said it best right there. Bryce mm -hmm. Stott. Finish it. Phillies will be sporting new hats for batting practice this year, and you can get your hands on them. We love this new hat design. Yeah, it's right here. There it is. It's a, the, the brim's all flat now because I was sitting on it. You gotta, oh, you, yeah, you got to bend it up there a little bit. But the fanatic on there with his little tongue out. Yeah. I like cool. that. I like that a lot. Not bad. But 
we were challenged with creating our own so design. So now that I sat on this one, here's what I came up with. It's uh, the old retro logo uh, over top of the, uh, at least the top part of Independence Hall. Quick little sketch there. I love that. That's good. That's yeah, signed. Right. Not bad. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, this is, is Sheila. What? Oh no, this is mine. There you go. This is my design. The love, um, love statue there, where the Phillies P is the O. And what a great idea. Yeah. Right. All right, Sheila Watko is next. Taking a look at uh, hers, very much Florida themed. In fact, at the bottom it says Florida with a PH. Clear Wooder. I love that. The coconuts being the baseball. Look, she has all the little details <laughs> yeah. in there. I really appreciate that from Shields. I love Very that. Very cool. And then the, the best for last, really, Bill Henley. What can we say about this one? Yeah. Eric? It's unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> turning to AI for a little help with his uh, design. Yeah, truth be told, too, this is one of five hats that he sent us. And all five of them could have been designs. Yes. We, we all would have worn them on a hat, which very is so cool. great. This is very good. Very, very creative. cool. We'd love to see yours. So uh, hit us up on Instagram yeah. or, or Facebook to see what you would put on a uh, Phillies hat for spring training. Very cool. You never know. Next year, they may use one of our designs. They're very cool. We Maybe. could be earning a commissioner. Maybe. Hmm, who knows? We'll see. All right, a chemical that you don't know could actually be lurking in your breakfast. We're going to tell you what the new study found. And are you addicted to your dating app? You're not alone. So we're going to tell you why in 30 seconds. Here we go. Here I go again. Introducing the all-new TD Clear credit card with no late fees and no interest, just a simple monthly fee. That's predictability, even when expenses aren't. Four dollars? That's bananas. It's a pair. Oh, man. The all-new TD Clear credit card. That's how credit can be unexpectedly human. Call 1-844-TD-CLEAR for details about credit costs and terms. A new study found a chemical in popular breakfast foods, including Cheerios and Quaker Oats. The study was conducted by the Environmental Working Group. It found the agricultural chemical chlormaquat in 92% of oat-based foods tested last May. The chemical not approved for use on food crops in the U.S., but imported foods treated with the chemical are allowed into the country. And researchers say it's been linked to reproductive and developmental issues in animal studies. Quaker responded to the report saying, in part, quote, we adhere to all regulatory guidelines to ensure the safest, highest quality products for our consumers. General Mills, which makes Cheerios, also responded, saying, all our products adhere to all regulatory requirements. Food safety is always our top priority at General Mills. We take care to ensure our food is prepared and packaged in the safest possible way. If you find yourself uh, yeah, from Cheerios, <laughs> we're going from Cheerios to, to love. Yes. Right? If you find yourself swiping on dating apps for hours, you are not alone. A new lawsuit claims that is by design. The class action lawsuit is against Match Group, which owns dating platforms like Tinder, Match.com and Hinge. The suit claims the apps are filled with ad addictive features that encourage compulsive use. The lawsuit seeks damages for people who have been using paid versions of Tinder, Hinge, and other Match Group apps in the last four years. Match Group calls the lawsuit, quote, mer uh, ridiculous and meritless. But My question like social is, media. well, that's what I'm saying. How is it any different than social media? Right. If you, if you make an app, right, you, you designed, earn more money the longer people are using it, the app. Exactly. And so you want to hook people that's in. Right. And, that's right. You know, I guess that swiping is... Mm -hmm. To see who's next. Swipe be, left. Swipe yeah, right. right. There's always, it could be the, the one could be in one swipe away. One swipe you're constantly away. thinking that. Hey, Delta Airlines just created a chance for you to experience the upcoming total solar eclipse like you've never seen before. That's right. A flight from Austin to Detroit will follow the path of totality. That means you get to see the eclipse at its peak for the entire flight. Price tag here, more than 1100 bucks, and that's one way. There are still 25 seats left, but all the window seats are taken. Yeah, so you'd be wasting money for 1100 I mean, you got to look You got to look over be people. Be able to look over the whole time. And how long is that flight, by the way, from... Austin to, Austin yeah. Got to be three or four hours, right? Mm, crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Who's buying, who's buying an aisle seat? Uh, right. Well, I, sometimes I buy aisle seats. I mean, for, to see the eclipse. Nobody. Yeah, exactly. So, no. You know who is? Some spouse or somebody going, oh, God. My <laughs> wife is into this stupid solar eclipse, and I got to sit here. But at least with your spouse, you can be like, all right, honey, let's switch seats. That's There's right, somebody you don't right. know? They're going to yeah, hog yeah, the yeah. whole window. That's it, of course. That's a waste of money completely. Right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. This is not. The Roots Picnic just released its uh, lineup. <laughs> Lil Wayne is the headliner uh, with the uh, Roots backing him up. Philly native Jill Scott is also on the bill, fresh off her 
Grammy win for Best New Artist. Victoria Monet also makes her picnic debut. The festival runs June 1st and 2nd. The Roots Picnic Alumni presale starts in just a matter of hours, 10 a.m. General ticket sales begin Friday. Get more details on NBC10.com slash find it on 10. But we showed the, oh, we almost did right there, the whole lineup of people on this, the musicians it, on this. There uh, are a lot of people build. that awesome. are coming to town. Yep, Nas was on Roots, that list too. For the Roots Picnic. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really excited Very for cool. it. Very cool, yep. Got to get, gotta get there. Mm -hmm. All right, that does it for today's edition of The Lineup. For Aaron Coleman, I'm Keith Jones. Remember, you can get NBC10 News updates right here on the NBC10 app and catch us weekday mornings from 4 to 7 a.m. Have a great day. See ya.